From the Carly B TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carlisha Booz. A 34-year-old male was found with gunshot wounds in the parking lot of Park at Northside Apartments in Macon last night. He was taken to the hospital for treatment but died. The name of the deceased will not be released until family is notified. A Monroe County woman who was reported missing has been found dead and her child's father is being charged for her murder. Toriana Proctor was found dead in Jadarius Watts' car after he attempted to run away from deputies. Jadarius Watts is at the Monroe County Jail charged with obstruction of law enforcement, possession of firearm during the commission of a felony, kidnapping, aggravated assault, and murder. This week is National Poison Prevention Week and medical professionals at Atrium Health Navison Beverly Knight Olson Children's Hospital encourage the community to take note of potentially deadly chemicals that could cause harm to children. According to the CDC, poisoning is the leading cause of unintentional injury-related deaths in the U.S. While children under six years old compromise the majority of cases, poisonings affect all age groups. Some helpful tips include secure household products and medicines out of the site in reach of young children, install safety latches on cabinets used for medicines and household products, buy products with child-resistant packaging, and always read product labels and follow any directions. Special state income tax refunds paid out of Georgia's historic budget surplus could be on their way to taxpayers in six to eight weeks. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed the $1.1 billion refund plan into law on Wednesday. House Bill 1302 will give a $250 refund to single filers, $375 to single adults who head a household with dependents, and $500 to married couples filing jointly. The refund would only be paid to people who filed their tax returns for both 2020 and 2021 tax years. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.